It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to another edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling. This is the last week of candlepin bowling here at Mohegan Bowlodrome in the town of Emmanuel Lewis, Massachusetts. I did pretty good with a 90 in the first game and low 80s in the last two. So how will this go? Let's find out. But before we do that, we're going to do this one more time. Watch Me Suck at Bowling was proud to sponsor the 2016-2017 season of King of the Palace. Here on YouTube, search for King of the Palace. To subscribe, go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes and hit that subscribe button. And as I said, we're doing this one last time because the season is over and the candle pins are over for this particular place. Anyway, on to the show. Frame one, ball one. Due to the music videos playing in the background, most of the audio is muted, and because of the video portion, you'll be staring at pin cam most of the time. And we're off to a flying start. Ball two. As you can see here, we're off to one of our fantastic starts, per usual. Can we get more than just one on the next throw? While nearly impossible to see in the dark, which the camera makes it look much brighter than what it is, that ball just barely stayed on the proper side of the lob line. We do allow a little bit of a fudge factor though. And it's a halfway decent start with a seven. Frame two, ball one. Seven isn't the greatest of starts, but the game has just started. Once again, another one of those great starts. This time it's the 10 pin. Now let's go for some more. Ball three. This is starting to look familiar. Another bad frame. Two back to back. And it's a six. We start off with a mediocre 7 and 1 and a lousy 6 and 2 for a total of 13. In a June 2017 impromptu video at Putnam Street Lanes in Fitchburg, we got a new high triple of 305, finally breaking 300. Frame 3, ball 1. This game can still be saved. 13's not the best of starts, but it's still something that can be improved upon. Let's give it a try. Ball two. If the ball is thrown right, the wood can help get rid of that 10 pin. Or just miss everything. Ball three. As they say, third time's a charm. Let's see if that comes true. And it's another mediocre seven. Frame four, ball one. Not so good today. This is definitely not one of the best efforts, and so far it's not even a mediocre game. Still early though. Much better. Ball two. The piece of wood behind the three pin can guide it in for a nice easy spare. Ball three. Now we just need to hit the wood that's actually next to the pins. The one by itself didn't help. Too far to the right, but still, finally something decent, a 9. We're doing better. Still a mediocre 7 and 3, but we wake up with a 9 and 4 for a total of 29. Little behind, but still okay. Frame 5, ball 1. 
With that nine under our belt, it looks like things are ready to get going. Ball two, late pinfall, fixed score again. Most automatic scoring system don't capture the late pins, so it had to be fixed. Nice wood assist. Ball three, one and five. As stated, the head pin and the king pin all alone. Piece of wood that could help. Swing and a miss, but it's an eight. Frame six, ball one. Things have got better, and the score is slowly improving. We're now in mediocrity territory. Ball two. Good thing the seven pin decided to fall a little late. That would have just made matters worse. Ball three. Worst case, it's another eight. That piece of wood could be a roadblock, though. Let's find out. Or hit the piece of wood and watch nothing fall for an eight. That didn't go too bad. We got a decent pair of eights in five and six, bringing us to 45 and mediocrity. Possibly good. Frame seven, ball one. Momentum is on our side. The only thing we need now to really help is get a mark or two. Ball two. This time, the seven pin did not fall. There's a piece of wood that makes that target a little wider. There, got the hard pin out of the way. Ball three. Now that the left side has been taken care of, it's time to take care of the right side. And another not so strong seven. Free me, ball one. It looks like we took a slight tumble, but then again, a slight tumble is better than falling apart. The king remains. Ball two. Looks like it's the king pin and not the holy god's middle finger this time. The five pin all by itself and no wood. This is going to be very tough. Miracles do happen, and it's a spare. Those two frames were a mixed bag. Again, a mediocre seven and seven, but then we got a spare and eight. So far, we got a 62. But what will El Stinko the bonus ball give us? Frame nine, ball one, El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Usually they're not that great. Let's find out. El Stinko didn't stink, gave us a seven. And a piece of wood. Ball two, good is now a possibility. Unfortunately, that piece of wood is probably going to prevent that nine pin from going. Ball three. Again, thanks to the spare, a game of mediocrity is turning into a game that's going to come out okay. I guess if you go just for the wood, you can get them all. Wishing that was ball two, though. Still, it's a ten. Last frame, last game, ball one. That many to make good. One away from 80, which is within the fudge factor of the average casual bowler in candle pins. Via the gutter, not how to do it. Wow. Wow. Reset, though. Ball two, if that only stayed on the leg. Best we can do now is an Emily, which is you get nothing on the first ball, get them all on the second. One wobbler went, but that other one, nope. Not a bad recovery. Ball three. Average ability according to ICBA records from leagues is a 90, so 80 is pretty much within. 
And with an eight, we're comfortably in that range. And that wraps up the month of June. And here we have the score, 87. Only one mark and one sort of lousy frame. And that'll be it for the candle pins. For next month, we move to the other side and bowl 10 pin bowling. And this is Georgia551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.